This is where everything started for me, right here in Praia Grande. Hey, good morning. How oh, come you're taller than I am? Let's say hello to our king. I came here on a vacation after having lived in Tokyo, in Beijing, in Seoul. I, I made a decision within moments. This is a place where I would like to live. I mean, we are the center of the world and take a look. A paradise, uh, you know, if it's good enough for the king, the Moors, the Romans, certainly good enough for Rome and for Rome. Why don't you make some money so that I can retire? <laughs> So that's it, that's my dad. Pretty funny to think that he moved from the United States. He lived there for 40 years, came to Portugal to start a family. 30 years later, we're here in Sintra. It's really funny because he always told me, you know, Portugal is the center of the world. And I was like, what? I'll give him that, you know, he definitely was a visionary when it comes to that. 30 years ago, didn't have the amount of people from all over the world coming to Portugal to live because this place is just amazing, you know, and I was born and raised in Portugal, but my dad is German, grew up in the States. My mom is Swiss, Portuguese. It's pretty odd that I, you know, I ended up here in Sintra and that I ended up being a professional surfer as well because none of my family surfs. But where there's a will, there's a way. Let's go surf. Weather's offshore. We got some great conditions this morning and the boys are frothing to surf. Perfect to take my girl out. What? Tell the camera what kind of waves you like. My favorite waves are perfect small rise. Let's start this day. Let's go. I love this place. Look at that. So beautiful. I love this area. I mean, like, you got the waves, you got the forest, you can go on hikes. It doesn't get much better than this. I just want to go surfing. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Get the peak, come on it. Right? <laughs> wow, altism. That could peak a little bit. <laughs> this is where everything started for me right here in Praia Grande. This is like one of the most diverse beaches. It's perfect for beginners right now. One to two foot waves, super clean. But then it's also a very versatile beach where when it's bigger, it's a very challenging place. It's considered one of the most consistent breaks in Portugal, especially in the Lisbon area. And there's plenty of that around here. I mean, there's four beaches like Praia da Draga, Praia Pequena, Praia Grande, as Anguilhas do Mar. It's a good place to solidify your surfing skills and get better for any type of condition. Whether it's Mathilde, that's uh, progressing fast, or me as a professional. Bora, amor! Bora! Let's go surf! Woo! Wow, what a session guys. I mean, perfect day to go to surf with my girlfriend. 
And usually on days like this, when you know, like it's really clean, I love to go surfing in the morning, but then go into Lisbon to enjoy the afternoon. And what's so special about this whole area, you know? It's, I'm in Sintra here, I'm in a nature park with beautiful waves, beautiful landscapes. But I'm only 30 minutes away from the capital city of Lisbon. The drive is so beautiful. You drive through the Sintra nature park, onto Cascais, everything's coastal. This is what really shaped the surfing culture that Portugal has, you know? Everything is so related to the ocean. It shows you how much people breathe the ocean. I wouldn't imagine myself growing up anywhere else in the world besides this big area of Lisbon. It really has turned me into the person I am today. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Lisbon. This is why I love this place. It's beautiful. We got all types of people and we are in for some fun. Let's go. The Lisbon we see these days is completely different than we saw the Lisbon we saw 10 years ago, you know? And you can feel that, how that also transformed the city, you know? The famous golden light of Lisbon. Most beautiful places to watch the sunset. So amazing to see what uh, Lisbon has developed. It's really developed into a surf town. You know, even though we're in the capital city, you know, tons of people, fancy restaurants, people having their fun, lots of activities. But the truth is, you know, this is so much of a surf town as well. You know, the ocean is right there on the other side of that bridge. It takes you 15 minutes from the center of Lisbon to the closest surf spot, which is Costa de Caparica. It's a great wave. It's a really fun wave. Good for intermediate to advanced surfers. And I mean, it's, it's the beach of Lisbon. You know, and it's a very unique city surrounded by great waves. Costa de Caparica, Carcavel, Sintra, Ericeira. You know, that's all in a 30 kilometers radius. You can't think of any big city that has such a great vibe as well, you know. And that's why the world is moving here. That's why my dad moved here 30 years ago. That's why, you know, you see more and more people, you know, young artists that are fed up of their city lives elsewhere and decide to relocate to Lisbon because this city's got it all. Time to relax. Hope you guys enjoy the episode. We're going to be showing you guys from north to south of Portugal. It's going to be very interesting. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Comment on the tab below. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Let's go. Woo!